Hi, my name is Dwayne with Big Dog Seatbelt Company, and I just want to do a quick video on a product that I picked up on Amazon. Paid $17 for this. I have seen the same product for sale at PetSmart for $39. I can buy these all day long from Alibaba.com. This harness right here for three bucks. The branded product that I saw at PetSmart under a different name, I can buy those for three dollars and twenty-five cents. So if you think about it, $3, no matter where you build these on the planet, there's not a lot of quality probably in that product. So I just want to kind of show you how this is built, what to stay away from, and what to look for when you're looking for a product. So this advertised it as a nylon mesh front, which is what this is. It does breathe. This is nylon. Know that nylon does not stretch. In an accident, this is going to be almost like a brick because it's solid. Notice these four corners here. This, all four of these corners, this nylon webbing is actually sewn to each corner here. Stay away anytime you see any sort of sewing the, the two parts together. Stay away from that. That is not going to hold up in the event of an accident. I turn it around. I have plastic slides to adjust. When you put this on the dog, this part goes over the dog and then this comes up behind and you buckle. Plastic buckles. So these plastic buckles are used to put this on your dog. Again, if you see plastic on any sort of pet safety product that's you know supposed to be any sort of restraint, seatbelt, whatever, do not go there. Plastic will never hold up. 65 pound dog, which is this is actually size for a 65 pound dog, there is nothing on this product that will handle a 65 pound dog in the event of an accident. If you're in a 30 mile an hour crash, 65 pound dog, that's almost 1,900 pounds of force. Nothing on here is rated at over 500 to maybe 700 pounds of force. This was one inch webbing. You know, this nylon up here, like I said, doesn't stretch. Plastic buckles, plastic slides, this little D-ring, none of this is going to hold up under the, in the event of an accident. Even just hitting your brake really hard, you could possibly break any of this. Another feature on this, this comes with this, you will see these all over the internet, these little doggy seat belts. This clips up here, then you have this slide here that actually goes into the seat belt of your car. A lot of people think this is great, well it's actually not. This tether type system here is dangerous. If you have your dog in the back seat, you hit the brakes, it's wrapped around its leg, guess what, you broke a leg. Wrapped around the front leg, same thing. These things are dangerous. Anytime you take your dog out to the car, if you use a leash or a tether, lose it once your dog is in the car. So this is just a couple things to look for. Quick review. If you have any questions, check me out on my website, Big Dog Seatbelt.